Oh baby. Ooh yeah. Armory. Acer right eight. Baby, baby grants plus one maximum souls. The character is wearing equipment that has been enhanced by I don't know how much. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, first of all, welcome back to more Tales of Berseria. <laughs> we just got done beating Rokro's demon turned seraph mom <laughs> that was about to be a dragon. I. Uh, anyway, we are here to essentially get ready to head back to. Uh, the capital and hopefully I'm fast enough to where I can open up the menu to where I can get the teleport crystal before getting into a fight all right good <laughs> Whew, that was not a, an encounter I wanted to get into so we're gonna definitely save our game here and we're gonna head back to Logris to finish up Rokuro's sub event So your fateful encounter was a success. It was. You knew who the Dragon Swordsman really was, didn't you? Did you use us for your personal revenge? No. That loss we suffered those twenty-odd years ago was entirely on us Bloodwings. Hell, that Shigure was so good she managed to fight our people off while holding a newborn with one hand. Bruh. <laughs> Newborn? Would that have been Rokuro? I always thought the Rangetsu weren't ones for being sentimental. I was so surprised. I asked her why she did it. She had blood all over her face. But she looked at me with this very soft smile and said, This precious child has the potential to cut me down and go on to be the strongest swords. It's my duty to protect him. Shout out to the audio being cut off. I see. The name will be passed down no longer. But at least that wish I could fulfill. I owe you one, Tabitha. And I you. That's one long-standing worry that I can now let go. Shout out to the questionable ports. Are you sure you're okay with this, Rokuro? The Shigure, my mother, was a strict person. When I was a kid, she was always scolding me for something. But for the very first time in my life, she actually praised me. That felt really good to hear. Rokuro. And I also learned why Shigure hadn't been able to carry out his mission. It's not that he couldn't kill her. He just chose not to. To take the life of one's own parent. That is an experience you don't need to have more than once. Even as an exorcist and a demon. Yeah. At least that's what I think. What do we get? We get a color variant! Hey, you put in all that hard work, you beat a level 100 ass bastard when you're level what? 54 half its level? <laughs> Here's a color variant. <laughs> oh man, that is like you get man. I mean, sure, yeah, I get the acerite, but it's not like I can really fully use this acerite. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me some good. Give me something better than a punk ass variant color. Like, man, these these are some ass 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 Scout. rewards. Like, like, y'all think I'm complaining, but man, this, this, dog, I'm just trying to let it be known. I feel like I, there was no point in doing it other than for the story. So the first time you do it, you don't, you don't ever want to do it again. Let's go with this. Doesn't look too bad, but it's essentially just a color reskin. It's just a reskin, dude. I should put everybody in a goddamn Norman. <laughs> I should put everybody as a Norman, dude. That would be so hilarious. That would be so hilarious, my dude. Give everybody these dumbass Norman haircuts. Color variant. Hey, don't you look cool? Look at these color variants. Yeah. I worked really hard to get these color variants. <laughs> All right, time to move on to the next quest. Alrighty, guys, so here we are on Port Zexan, and we are 
on a mission to go back to Titania and we want to go ahead and defeat two, be two beasts there. We, we have a sub event for uh, our boy Aizen and then there's a beast we never actually beat. There's a cold red demon we never beat there. So we want to go ahead and quick save and get ready to move out. There's no need for goodbyes. Yeah. And now we need to go to the front dock. There we go. Oh baby, we back here. I have a bad feeling about this. I think it's time to lay low. Everybody came with this. Hiding in plain sight. Yeah, this place might be a good hideout. What the? Huh? Is that what she said before? Uh, is this is that a glitch? Your destiny is wrapped up with whoever sent the challenge, Skipper. Good luck. I don't know who sent it, but they're the one in need of luck. Oh god. I don't see any exorcists, at least. They must have pulled a runner once they were finished here. If our challenger knew that when selecting this location, I suspect we're in for a serious fight. We need to stay careful. Alright, cool. Let's get to it then. We also have to fight a cold red demon that should be somewhere in this dungeon, so let's get to it. <laughs> Finally, we found the dumbass cold red demon. Took me years to find this hole. She was on like, what? Floor what? Floor B2. B2, dude. And like one of the cells. Holy crap. Oh, it looks like we have a lot of stuff. Aizen's extraordinary encounter, relic of another civilization. Find the treasure from the far continent on Maining. Man, we got a lot of chat. Or a lot of quests here. Well, here we go. Let's just do this right here. Are we ready for this? Are we ready for this? Resistance against no fucking non elemental. That's like. Velvet's worst nightmare right there. So I need water. So twin the whip is probably gonna work. And I need a good move I can spell. Tearing thorn. Tearing thorn, huh? Tearing thorn. Terry Thorn is not that great of a move. Alright, Terry Thorn. We need like a low level move, but like not non elemental, you feel me? Avalanche Fang, maybe. Okay. Yeah. 
Heart attack, heart defense down. Good will! Double haze! Earthquake! Take the sky! Double haze! Natural! Fail to move! Hello? 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 Hello?
Thank you. Get the fuck out of here. Did you think you could escape me? No grade, because 6,000 people died. <laughs> Allows the ability to add up to three random skills to equipment a hard or higher. Alright, that annoying ass bitch. Now, uh, uh, having non elemental resistance is so good. For like an enemy to have non elemental, like, I can't really use my bullshit with uh, Velvet. Even though I found a new way to just do it, <laughs> I can't just go in as. As I've been doing. Boom, boom, boom. Now, if I were to level up, I'd be able to use different strategies, but I have to just rely on Velvet for now. Ain't nobody else is as good as Velvet. Alright, now we gotta get back to facing the challenger for our boy, which is gonna be another boss fight. Man, this is gonna be intense. Can I just go to the front docks? Cause I'm, I'm, I was totally fucking lost. All right, now we just go straight to the back docks from here. All right, so we made it to the back docks and the music stopped. Oh boy. So, just to be on the safe side, we're gonna save it and uh, be on our way. Oh, it's a fucking crate. What the hell? There doesn't seem to be anybody here. Wait, what's up with that box? The time has come for judgment. And retribution! What the? Oh, not this little nigga. I, his little small hitbox box? have an ass. Who are you? I hate this dude already. Very well. You ought to know the name of he who consigned you to the flames of hell. Wait, wait, I wait. am... You were that Norman, right? Phoenix or whatever? Ha! No wonder those letters were so full of empty threats and blustery nonsense. Bien! This is bad, bad! The self-styled strongest Norman of all Norman is the mastermind behind all of this! Self-styled? I am the man among men, the strongest Norman of all Norman. I am Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, we've covered that already. So you're the one who wrote all those letters. What's your bone with me? I merely seek to write wrong. I recently came into possession of a letter from a sister pouring her heart out to her brother. I traced the letter back to its sender and one day paid her a surreptitious visit. There, I found a sweet, innocent girl. Surrounding her were presents from her brother and mountains of letters she couldn't bring herself to send. Letters she couldn't send? Heartfelt letters for her older brother. When I read them, my manly tears fell over the same salty stains left by hers. What the hell is wrong with you? Who reads someone else's letter and then decides to break into their room? <laughs> I acknowledge that I am partly in the wrong. But for all that is righteous, I cannot condone you. I do this for your sister, clasping her hands in well-worn gloves as she sends prayers for her brother's safety across the wide blue sea. <laughs> I didn't skip sea. that. That was the game. Enough of this nonsense. What is it that you want? That is a question you should be asking of yourself. What do you mean? Just what is it that you're communicating with the superficial scrawlings and shoddy baubles you send her? He's trying to atone. Don't be absurd. Which is the real you? The considerate brother who worries for his sister? Or the man who consorts with low-life scum and pirates? Why can you not at least be honest with her, pirate? She is your sister. Why can you not tell her of the life you've chosen to lead? Do you think her too weak will to forgive your decision? Is that what your beloved sister is to you? I don't have to take this from you. Fine then. Show me your power. Fucking hate you this asked guy. For I it. hate Phoenix. I hate fighting then him in hysteria. If I win, you will go visit your sister immediately. But if I lose, I will obey your every command. All right. So we need to find a really good <laughs> you're you're just fight one, Phoenix. Phoenix. I like you. Because he has a small hitbox. Look at that. My big ass. Be mine. I think I'll have you crying instead. I called him twice and he didn't get hit. That's crazy. Please. 
I tell you what, the reason why I already hate this fight is the fact that he's so fucking small that like normal attacks just will not work on him. I need like Magalu in the background casting spells or something. So in reality, I'm about to use some items to get my people out of there. Like Rokuro. I'm about to use a life bottle on your girl. Oh, she can't switch yet. Uh, and then it doesn't even auto correct. Wow, I blocked that shit. Fuck this fight. I don't, I don't, at this point, I don't care about items. Look at that shit. Dodges everything. Hitbox is fucking that small. Why? What were they thinking, man? What were they thinking for this? I really don't know what they, they were thinking. And then he gets hyper armor. They gave him all the best. Yo, fuck the game developers on this fight. <laughs> like, this shit is toxic. Uh, even if you level up, I shouldn't have to. I should still stand a chance of beating him. I don't have to level up. I can beat him, but it's just going to be a very long-ass fight. And I hate that shit. Um, I need to get somebody up and switch him out for Aizen. Better, yeah, I should probably just get Eleanor up. Eleanor, Got you, no escape! Ah, Follow me, you asshole. Reflect. Quite possibly the dumbest enemy in the game. In the series, I'm gonna say. Thanks. So now I have to switch one of these dudes out. Aizen, you died so quick, bro. Oh my god. Now I gotta set his arts to like make him do nothing, but I gotta make him just cast Earth Spell all day. Stone Lance. He can do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Plundering Ghost, don't give a damn about that. Resurrection he'll want. Hey, screw this fight, dude. He needs to actually be able to spam those arts all day. The hydro armor is real. No mercy! You thought I'd stop uh. Annihilating? Killing flash! But I'm this close. I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! Jesus! He took all that ship damage. Arcane me, dude. Elixir me. Fuck of course, Aizen dies immediately because he doesn't know when to stop actually going in. Like, why is he doing anything else? He shouldn't have even died. He should have been back shooting arts. Strategy, my boy. I gotta revive him. Roku. Aizen, no. what the fuck are you doing, bro? Don't run towards the enemy. There's so many other attacks he could have got. So many other data cubes he could have got. But he went for the one closest to the enemy. Oh. 
He just sat there. He just. <laughs> oh! My boy sat there and tucked that L. Nothing I can do, bro. Fuck you. Bro, every, every time I see him stun, I'm going in. He needs it, I guess. He's not doing anything because he's fucking scared of getting hit. Strategy. Action. Balance. Hold nothing back. Fucking dude just sat. He sits there. Alright, I think there's a title I can give myself right now to reduce damage from blocking. Damage reduction while guarding. Effective burn reduced by 40%. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I don't want to be auto right now. Super armor. And then he fucking dodged that. I'm so mad at that. I need a data cube, thank you very much. Yeah, look at that dead dude, look at that damage I thought. Damn near nothing when guarded. Actually surviving while blocking. That's actually surprising. Oh, we got hella lucky. This dude's hitbox is like the worst hitbox in any game ever. <laughs> and he moves around so fucking quick. I want to try to keep her SG low while having the data keys out so I can like kind of like stun them consistently and at the same time what we want to do is just when we need to get the, uh, our SG up is run towards the data keys. I'll get one now because it's disappearing. Oh, damn. I can actually survive the block by blocking, which is lovely. This is really good. Leave. 
He did so burst. He's starting to break out new moves now. What a jerk. Uh, 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 still taking his stun damage though. This fight is literally going to take at least 30 minutes, which is not something you want to hear or see. Oh, that's whack. I got to get up. Oh, dude, all because I missed one invincibility moment that I was supposed to do. This dude is about to be annoying. 